Hello, my name is Vince Bonney and I'm with Zern Industries. And today I'd like to talk about the quick cap. Now the quick cap is one method that we have to join our tubing to our fittings. Now the quick cap is an improved version of the copper crimp ring. So let's begin by talking about the copper crimp ring. Now to make a connection with the copper crimp ring, you want to slide the ring over the end of the tubing like so. Now you want to make sure that that tubing is cut squarely. And a great tool to use for that is our scissor cutters. So, you then take a fitting, slide it into the end of the tubing like so. Now you want to line up that ring over the barbs of the fitting. Now to do that, you want to leave a gap between the end of the tubing and the ring. Now the distance of that gap varies on the diameter of the tubing. For tubing up to one inch, you want that gap to be between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. For inch and a quarter, inch and a half tubing, you want that gap to be between a quarter of an inch and three eighths of an inch. And for two inch tubing, you want that gap to be between three eighths and a half an inch. So one of the challenges of the copper crimp ring has been keeping that ring in position during the crimp. Now, now I'm using this half inch compact crimp tool, which is nice because the tool can get in tight spaces because the jaws are released by pulling the handles towards you, like so. Now to make a crimp, you position the crimp over the ring, like so. And you can see how sometimes that ring wants to move. So then the installer has to back up the jaws and reposition the ring. So because of that shortcoming, and because Zern is dedicated to continuous improvement, the quick cap was born. So, to make the crimp on a, on a quick cap, you slide it over the tubing like so. Now you can see that this quick cap has a plastic spacer at the end, which puts it in the perfect position every time. There's a stop at the end, and there's a place to view that the cap is on the end of the tubing. So then you take your fitting, slide it in, and now that ring doesn't move because the fitting is holding it tight. So you take your tool, position it perfect, perfectly perpendicular over the ring, squeeze, and now you get a perfect connection. Now you use the same tools and the same gauges on the quick cap that you do your copper crimp ring. This is an example of our go-no-go -go gauge. So you would take the half inch section, this is half inch tubing, and you try to slide it into the no-go section and it doesn't slide, then you take it into the slot for the go and you want it to slide into there. So now you know you made a good crimp and your crimp tool is in calibration. So the other tools that are used for both the quick cap and the copper crimp ring is our large hand tool, our medium large diameter tool, which you use an impact wrench to tighten it down, and our battery powered tool. Now this tool does sizes from 3 8 all the way up to 2 inch. So the quick cap, just like the copper crimp ring, is used on our XL brass fittings and our CR plastic fittings. And it's used with our non-barrier tubing, our Performa PEX tubing, which is a barrier tubing, and our barrier hypertube tubing. So I hope you get the chance to use the quick cap on your next plumbing project. If you need more information, please visit our website at zern.com. Thank you. Thank you for watching. For more information, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. Call our customer care center at 1-855-1-ZERN and visit us at zern.com.